Welcome to the Nostalgia Test Podcast, the show where two longtime friends put their mainstream pop culture past to the ultimate test, the Nostalgia Test. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Nostalgia Test Podcast. I'm Dan Dissinger here in LA, and I'm here with my longtime friend and co-host Manny Coelho there in New York. Manny, how are you tonight on this fine evening? What's going on, man? Doing good. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, guys, welcome to the Nostalgia Test Podcast. If this is your first time chiming in, this is a place where Dan and I, longtime friends, Manny and Dan, Dan and Manny, or Danny and Manny, did I, I don't think anyone ever calls you Danny, but we have known each other for over 20 years now, and we put our pop culture past to the test. We either say it's bad or it stays nostalgic. Or does it pass the nostalgia test? Which, what does that mean? What that means to us is that it is so good that we still enjoy it today, past just being nostalgic, that we believe that it could be enjoyed by all. Now, we could be wrong. We could be right. I know we're right. That's basically what it is. Why? Because it's our show. And this is what we put to the test. Sometimes Dan and I don't agree. Most yeah. of the time, we kind of get there after debating we want to hear your ideas for any tests that we oh, should yeah. uh, we should uh, be thinking about. Maybe we just aren't even thinking about it anymore because we have so many other tests in our minds. And you bring something up, we'll sh- we'll shout you out on the podcast, or you might even become a guest because we do have Ooh. listeners, our favorite listeners, become guests. Yes. So maybe yours is so good that we need you to come on and be an expert on that test. But also, if you like this podcast and you enjoy what you're hearing, subscribe to the podcast. You can go right to the website, nostalgiatest.com. Hit subscribe. You can subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, subscribe to the Nostalgia Test Podcast. Join the email list so you can get alerts when new episodes drop and when you know when Manny and I are going to go and do another IG Live. We do an IG Live 15-minute Nostalgia Test podcast episode around every, basically every two weeks. We'll get an alert when we're doing it and what the next uh, topic is. Today, we are doing something fun. I haven't told them what we're doing. This is kind of like a test, uh, kind of like a, a speed round test, Dan. Yeah, Manny something... surprised me with this. He's like, we're doing this. Let's go. And I'm like, yeah. all right. It's one o'clock in the morning where I am, so I'm a little nutty. So I was like, hey, let's try this out. I have been trying to, a couple of things have been going in my head about what I wanted to test in, but I didn't want it to be like uh, an episode where it had to be, you know, a lot of notes, a lot of facts, uh, just kind of like freestyling, I guess, if you want quick tests. Yeah. Seeing how you feel, how you thought about it. Mm -hmm. So basically what I'm doing is games either two player mm-hmm. games could be card games or just board games things that i remember that i do enjoy with my family now and other th- like other games that i thought i used to enjoy and whether or not you have played them or maybe recently or you know a while back but how you feel about them now so mm-hmm. first right off the bat i'm gonna yeah. say guess who okay I, immediately when you said that the first thing i wanted to say was like fuck that game because it is rigged that game is rigged because all you have to do is like say the right question about like uh does they do they have blue eyes i think that's one of them like if you ask if it has blue if, uh, and if the person does you just knock down all the brown eyed people and guess which what? was a lot which was almost which all was of, them. of them yeah Dude, it was a lot of them the new game uh, so at the brewery um, shameless plugs. This uh, podcast is uh, brought to you by Lethalgia Brewing Company, owned and operated by Manny Quillo, one of the co-hosts of the Nostalgia Test Podcast. Find Lethalgia Brewing at uh, lethalgiabrewing.com. It's based out of Long Island, Farmingdale, Main Street, 12 beers on tap, New York Wine and Spirits as well. Now, what was I going to say? I have that game, um, a new version of that. Mm-hmm. Characters look different. And it's the same thing, dude. Oh, God. All you have to say is, Damn. do you have blue eyes? And if you didn't, then you lasted longer. If you did, the game's over. The game's over. The, the game's, game's over. over. 
It's like three people had blue eyes. Why couldn't they just give more characters blue eyes in that game? I just don't understand why they didn't just do that. They didn't yeah, really. Like, what did it? What did it matter that you had brown hair and blue eyes? Like they yeah. never had that. It was always like blue eyes and blonde hair. Yeah, blue eyes and red hair. There was. It, it was always like they had to match like the real genetic makeup of a human. Like it's a character on yeah. a card. Yeah, none of those none of those characters look real. I mean, no. like they, you know, and at the same time, it's just like it was a good idea for a game, but it was just like for after, a five year old. Yeah, for after a while, it was just like I have a handful of questions I can ask, and I know which ones to ask. If I get those questions right, then that's it, game over. I mean, I'm not playing that game ever again. I had it, terrible game. I'll tell you. So I uh, I have played it at the brewery, and I thought I was gonna like, oh my god, this is so great, it's so great. Uh, we played it. Um, I was bored after two rounds, and I put it away and put it back. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So the game uh, – so this is a fast round, uh, like I said in this episode. So to me, game stays nostalgic, not passing on. Yeah, nostalgic. Yeah, yeah. Nostalgic okay. for like one second, and then you're just like, and I'm good with that. that I'm good with that nostalgia. Move on. Fuck this. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to continue on with this lightning because round. again, these are games that are now mini games. You can get at staples or stuff that I play at the brewery or I've seen people play. Yeah. Battleship. <laughs> now, I haven't played Battleship in a long time, but I'll say if I'm just going off my first, my first like lightning round type, like first reaction, I'm going to say it passes. I think Battleship is a good game. I think it was do. challenging. Yeah, it's a challenging game. And you had, you know, I don't know if there was strategy, but I mean, I thought it's better than Guess Who. And I think like it passes. Now, if I played it, I might change my mind. But from what I remember, I did have Battleship and I played it a lot. Okay, so what? So I haven't played it in like four years. But I, I do remember like, yeah, you know, like you're like B2. Yeah. And then you're like Miss, right? And you go. Now, if you're not in a rush and you're just hanging out, I guess if you're drinking beers and stuff, I guess if you're a kid too, but like as a kid nowadays, I feel like if you're not excited in 10 minutes, you're, you're done, right? Yeah. There's well, just so much going on. But like, I think the game does definitely have strategy because like once you start hitting, mm. you know, like there's a boat that has three, there's a boat that has six pegs, there's a boat that has four pegs, right? But it can, could be – you could get bored after you've gotten, like, two of them. Okay, so here's the thing I have to confess. I had electronic battleship – not electronic. Oh, I had a battleship oh, you had that. board that made the sounds. Holy nostalgia. So you input it, and then you press it, like B2. You press it, you press enter, and then it's like – If you got yeah. it, if not, it was nothing. So I think it was a lot of really different experience because I had like, you know, a little more, some more bells and whistles to my, to my battleship. Which no, so that I do remember that. <laughs> it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> you got some bells and whistles in your battleship, buddy. Yeah, it's a bell so, and whistles, you know. Another Hasselhoff hit. Yeah. Um, so I do remember that one. But the one I'm I'm talking about is the one that's just pegs and yeah, I classic had that. shit, right? And I was gonna play, I was gonna have it where I was gonna send you a battleship. Oh my god! Board, and we could play it through Zoom, yeah, and see how bored we were. Yeah. Um, like I said, I think it'd be fun for a first rounder, and it yeah. does pass as in like that it it does keep you. I guess it's strategic, so it's it's not bad, but I don't think it passes like mm. no. I'm just going to say it's nostalgic, but it's not terrible. Did you ever do that thing? Like if you played it and you were like, I was sometimes a total asshole and I would just like put all the ships in a corner and just like in like a square. (laughs) (laughs) That's how you end the game. Oh, I see what you're saying. So So people like, like, oh, can't really just all be there. And it's just like the rest of it is just nothingness. Yeah. Yeah. I guess like the setup of it would be cool too, because you're trying to like fake them out. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. I guess it's it's fun enough game. But yeah. I don't think it just passes it totally. And you said it did. You I said think it, it did. did. Yeah. All right. Now, another one. 
And now I'm going off of, I know that there's three, two games that I've been thinking about. This is now going off some lists that I'm seeing that are like games that are like consi- considered very popular because of like Amazon, like trends and stuff. Yeah. But I also wanted to bring in some like classic games because mm-hmm. of offices and nostalgia tests. Clue. Now, I I never played I played Clue, but not that much. I feel like it was a game that was super involved, and so I'm gonna say it doesn't pass because I just I, it was one of those games like I put that in the category of like Monopoly mm-hmm. uh, because where I'm just like this is going on for way too long. I don't know what's happening, um, and I think my attention span was just not long enough for that game. So I'm saying it's just nostalgic. Love the movie. I'm- I'm going to agree with you because it is a very long game. Oh, God. Um, it it takes some time, so you'll play one round and be done. Yeah. Because if it takes you so long, because if you actually played the full game, like yeah. I've played the travel size game where you're on a plane and it's like a card, it's kind of like a card dealing game. Oh, okay. And like it goes ten minutes, like you yeah. figure out is this this, but when you're having to go in the, every fucking room. Yeah, I don't it's get it. Long, I never it's understood. Long. I never even understood how it worked. It's I was long. Just like, "What do you do? You roll a dice? Like, do you just yeah? You have like notes, and you're like oh, rolling boy. dice, and then you have to say yes and no, and you figure out which weapons are left and which ones are not, and like who's around and who's not. And what? It's, yeah, yeah. That this is like that. It's a board game, right? It's a board game. You okay. get bored. <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> I'm fired. <laughs> Dude, what the no, I can't. That's too much involved for a board game, especially when you're thinking like, why is this happening? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? No, no, no. I mean, what's the so, even age group on that shit? Eight pretty eight and over? Eight, you have to be eight, eight or above to play clue. Uh yeah, I think so. That's crazy. That doesn't sound eight, like eight and over. Eight and over. That's so that. You said it before. Obviously, this has to be on this this list just because Monopoly. No, I'm saying I don't even like Monopoly anymore. I don't want to ever play Monopoly again. I don't even know. I know it's supposed to. I know it's like a nostalgic item of culture, but I I hate it. I'm saying Monopoly's bad because like, I say Monopoly's bad. I go with the Dane Cook joke, where it's yeah. like everyone in thing. Monopoly after four hours of playing. <laughs> Fuck this game. Yeah. I played Grandma. It, oh, I think I played that game a few years ago and I, I do the ultimate mistake. I just buy everything constantly. As soon no, as I'm like, I'm like, am I supposed to do that? And then I lose. And I'm like, I hate this I mean, game. I go back to I, I think we we've talked about this plenty of times. Like I've only played one time where people started buying hotels finally. Other than that, <laughs> it was like we would play for like six, seven hours, go to sleep and be like, we'll play in the morning. We never fucking played in the morning. Yeah, why do so, I want to play a game where I have to play income tax or luxury <laughs> tax? Like I'm paying tax. It goes back to the stupid game of life, and that's that could be on the list too. Like oh, no, no, no. Life I at least life had an life end. every time I wake up. But oh, life God. had an ending. At least it went around the board to something. Yes, Monopoly. it was like Candyland, but like for adults. Monopoly was constant. It was just like all the way around and around and around, and you're just like. Here we go. I'm going. I hated when like I would play with my family. For some reason, my dad, I don't know why he was so good at Monopoly. I don't get it. But he would like own an entire like like third. Like strip. It was oh just my ridiculous. God. And you're just like, he's like, and every time you'd come around, he's like, you're coming around. Here we go. And yeah. he'd like call out the numbers that you'd have to roll to like go oh. like, all right. You, if you, you, he's like, you have to roll a two or a six to make it past this block. And I'm just like, that's not gonna like a six. <laughs> <laughs> it's two dice. I'm like, I hate, I hate this. I was like, what? Okay, here we go. What's the worst? Is like, I'm like, where did you get all that money? How come you have so much money to buy and I've lost all of it? No, no. Well, that's why I'm in debt. All right. So next, so we say, we say Monopoly no to bad. that game. That game is no, bad. No, put all that right. in categories. Blink when you choose. Uh, take your pants off and jacket. And episode. wow, hot take, hot yeah. take by Dan. All right. Mousetrap. I never played the game. I only put it together. <laughs> so, guys, if you like um, Nostalgia Test Podcast, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe and like. like Follow us on all social media 
outlets that you can find us and where you can get podcasts. Podbeam, Spotify, I, <laughs> Apple. <laughs> I never played the actual game. I just put it together like, let's just set it off. And I set so, up the mousetrap. That's it. I did the same fucking thing. And it, to me, it was just like playing like <laughs> stacks of dominoes. Like you just wanted to see the dominoes fall, you know? <laughs> I didn't play that game. <laughs> play, who played the game? Who played the game? Because you had to build it as you go. Oh, no, you have to build it while you're playing. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Build it. Let's just do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I didn't really get it. It's like, how many times did it set off? Once? I don't remember that. Like, no, there was a, I guess, right at the end. I what was the point of the game? Worked. I forget like how the game was. I, see, that's the thing. I don't remember how the game worked. Yeah. I just remembered like the thing was cool. Yeah. But like. I would literally put the thing together. Oh, it says we work together to build it. But it's you're, that, that but you're a mouse. Old. It says we work together to build it. It's not that a seven-year-old can't do it. It's just that it takes two people to figure it out together. So it's a great experience for teamwork. That's what one of the reviews is. Oh my God. I thought you, you, you no, no. This game was just a toy and then they put it on the board. It says the game gets everybody involved laughing together, which is laughing. my favorite. Yeah, because you got to get everybody to put it together. So you basically just fo- <laughs> you're, you're following directions yeah. to put something together and then watch the thing do its thing. That's it. And you're like, I'll do it again. And then you're like, why? Okay. Yeah, there's a game involved here. Fuck this. No, I Fuck never that. played it. I mean, I, it's hard to say whether it passes the nostalgia test. I guess it's nostalgic because I had it and I never played it. So I thought it was funny. But like, I guess it's nostalgic to me for that reason, because like I just never played the actual game. Got it. OK, coming to the end here, Dan. Hit me. <laughs> All right. Coming to the end. Shoots and ladders. Oh my god, dude! This game bothered the fuck out of me. It's like the worst game on the planet. I would say it's nostalgic, though, and this is I'm saying it's nostalgic. But I hated it with all of my being because every time I got to the top of something, I just like I just whoa down the shoot. It's just like man, I like hate this game. Like I all it was it. is rolling of dice, right? That's it. Yeah, it's just rolling dice. There was nothing there. No. There was no strategy other than rolling dice. That's it. You, you had to go up dice. ladders and then down shoots. Yeah. And the shoots were like y- your reset. Yeah. I mean, you just had to get to the end. Okay. I mean, I could, this list could go on, but we're coming to an end. I'm trying Did, to keep this 30 minutes. Sorry. Dude, I, do people play these games? Because like I'm sitting here thinking like I played them, <laughs> but I'm like I don't remember playing Sorry that much. I knew like it was a thing. Like it looked like like I played like Parcheesi. Like I don't know like, that game. It's like who played Parcheesi <laughs> or this game? Like like you haven't seen you play this Parcheesi. game with like <laughs> like the co- like black and white on one side of the of this. Yeah, like, what the fuck is that game, Othello? But yeah, sorry, I never knew how to play it. Yeah, it's weird. You got to put. Uh, well, you know, anyway, uh, the um. <laughs> sorry, I don't know if I play. I played it. Isn't Did you that the it? one with the dice in the middle and you hit the button? Oh, that was that trouble. Trouble. That was trouble. That was trouble. So I basically, trouble. sorry and trouble to me were the same game. I thought they were too. They're basically the same game, but they're not. They're terrible games. Yeah, you're just yeah. going like this. Yeah. The, the same thing like Candyland, like you know, you just like flip a card, it's like go to the blue square. Okay, nothing yes. happened. All right, three more for real. Ants in your pants didn't have. I never played it. Ridiculous. I never played it. Like what was you had it? like these plastic? So it's like it's pants, plastic pants. <laughs> it was really just a jar. There was a company that made this shit. Remember yeah. the one with like the, the like the caterpillar? There was something you put together yeah. a fucking caterpillar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it was, you know, plastic pants that you spilled out ants, plastic okay. ants yeah. that jumped like you pressed on it and it was like strong enough that it sprung and they would you would try to get them. So basically it was quarters for kids. <laughs> it was quarters, you're right. It was quarters for kids. Oh, my God. That sounds okay. crazy. Oh, it was ridiculous. And you're just trying to get them all in the in the pants. I guess these are you, all drink. You're right. I think these are all drink- they're all drinking games. 
or we turn them into drinking games or was they drinking games that we turn into kids games? They're probably kids games that got turned into drinking games. All right. God, answer your pants. Jenga. Jenga, dude. I, dude, I played Jenga a few times. I think it's a really good game. I like Great it. Game. I want to play more of it, but I don't want to play that big Jenga because I feel like I would get a concussion. We have big Jenga at um, the brewery. That would scare the shit out of me, though. Like, and it gets that, really high yeah, and I, loud when it, when it falls. And then we now have added dares to it. But that's so what like, I mean. Like, you guys are at the brewery. You guys are, like, all hanging out. And also, you hear... Oh, yeah. It gets crazy. Like, especially on, like, a Wednesday night when it's a little slow. And there's oh only, my like, God. five people there. Like, we're not doing it now because of what's going on. But, like, people get really competitive oh over it. And it's great. So now we started adding things to it. Like, wow. you know. Yeah, so, Jenga is a good game. That's yeah, that a, definitely passes. That's a great game. It's just, like, a simple game. It's not, like, some bullshit, like, mouse mousetrap. No. That's and that's that goes on forever. Yeah. All right. Um, I know what you're gonna say about this one, and this is the second to last one. All right. Hungry, hungry hippos. I mean, uh, I guess it's. I'm gonna say it's nostalgic, but I mean, it's like I had it. Yeah, yeah. it's not a game. <laughs> it's not a fucking game. Damn. Hungry, well, yeah. hungry hippos is reverse crossfire. Get- but whoever gets the most marbles wins. All you're doing is hitting a piece of plastic. There's yeah, I no know. game. There's no game going on. You didn't know the strategy. <laughs> Nothing happening. Didn't you shoot the marbles in there? Like if you missed them, there was another. There was like a tray next to you. You hit that little thing and it like shot the marbles back onto the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Game is I mean, stupid. Did you have it? Yeah. Probably <laughs> broke it. <laughs> it's like that other like do you remember, did you have the fishing game the magnet fishing yes. game like, go by, oh, 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 yes i did I mean, that was a cool game yeah that was a fun game that, that was, was fun. stupid that was cool yeah it was like that always reminded me of like a carnival game yeah or right car rides i would have to take that in the car yeah you what about the the one where it was like marbles that were wet and like you put it on a piece of paper Paper oh, towel. Actually, yeah, yeah. It was like it was like they, a penguin people game. People sold it's that stupid. shit. It's like, dude, it's what are you so selling? Stupid. Put that over a cup and get a paper towel and a rubber band and just wet some marbles. Ridiculous. Uh, right. What was that? Thin ice. That was called thin ice. Thin ice. That's what it was. Thin ice. Yeah, yeah. So there's so many other ones that we could get into, and that would be another fast track game. Because like I think we're definitely got to get in. I think we have to like even revisit some of these. But um, yeah. But what's the last one, Manny? Uno. You see, I've been waiting for you to say Uno this entire time. I thought you were going to say it in the beginning. I thought couldn't, I couldn't say it in the beginning because now this game is one of my favorite games of all times to this day. Wait, but here's the problem. Not the problem with Uno. Uno has like a lot of house rules. Because I play Uno sometimes with people where you can't like just keep doubling down on like the, the draw fours and people go, well, I got one. Then I got, and then you got to add them all up. Some people are like, no, you don't add it up. You, it's just the last one that's there. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you have to draw 50 cards or whatever so, it is. Like, you have to draw like 20 cards. So, like, that's what you have to do right now. Like, so I agree with you. With it's very shit. house ruly. It's yeah. very. So that's the pro. The, the, Uno reminds me of the game Asshole, the drinking game Asshole. Which, dude, we. Which probably, I forget how to play. Well, one day when we get uh, 10,000 subscri- subscribers to the podcast and we can do a live episode, we might have to put that to the test in real Dude, time. Dude, I forget how to play that all the rules. I think Stephanie, I think everyone hates that game. Stephanie knows the rules to that game. Yeah, shout out. Um, Stephanie. Shout out to Stephanie. But with Uno, you're correct. Like You have to lay out the rules at first. You have because to. Because that draw four rule mm-hmm. that you could stack up draw fours, Yeah. first of all, is a phenomenal rule. Yeah, but it's funny. My family and I play that game all the time, mm-hmm. like still to this day. We've now even gotten into the other version called Uno Attack. There's a whole other freaking game. It's a machine that you have to hit a button and oh, you can either get I've one card it. or all of them. Okay, so it changes oh the whole rules of the game. Okay, but with the doubling down, we used to not play that, right? And I never played that scoring at the end. Like, you know, if you win, you could like get everybody's cards in the end and like add up to the points and whatever, whatever. We yeah. should just go until the last person went. Right. But if you want a game to last forever, that doubling down. Oh yeah. Thing, the game can go on forever. I love that though. Like, because like 
you think you're going to hit someone with that draw four. You're like, boom. And then like, oh, whoa. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. It's just like, oh, no. Or like they hit you. Like, it's like, oh, no. Then another, then that person's like, oh, I got to draw eight. But then they're like, what? <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, it's crazy. Dude, Uno's, Uno's by far one of my favorite games. I think Uno, I want to play, uh, like, I miss playing that. It's funny because I was thinking about the other day. That is a phenomenal game. I love Uno. It passes the test 100%. passes the test. The best part of it, too, is that it's a one. It's a two-player to, like, ten-player game. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. you could, it's such a good game. Like, yeah. I think I have, like, four decks of Uno. Gotta put them all together. That's how much like I just had putting them all together is crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy <laughs> thought. Like that. Oh like, man. You know how many draw fours you would have if you Amazing. It's a whole together. hand of draw fours. It's like, here we go. You can't even psych <laughs> anyone out. Oh my but, god. Yeah, man. All right. So that was a quick one, guys. Thank you that's for that. Quick one. lightning round. Yeah, that was everyone. a quick one. That was a lightning round nostalgia test. We were just Absolutely. trying something out. Yeah. And so. everyone. You know, subscribe to the podcast. Let us know what you think about these games. And also give us a list. Send it a list along to our email, the thousand test at gmail.com, or go on the website, subscribe to the podcast, and send a, your own list that suggests a test. Um, we would love to hear another list so for us to go out there and just like put it down real quick. Drinking games test. Oh, Next dear one. God. That's going to be one. All right, man. All right. Peace. I'll see you later. Thanks for listening to today's episode. Please subscribe to the Nostalgia Test podcast to know when new episodes drop. Don't forget to leave us five stars and a positive review so more people can find the podcast. Share your thoughts and memories on today's topic on our Twitter, at Nostalgia Test, and on Instagram, at The Nostalgia Test. Tune in next time because you never know what pop culture will pop up on The Nostalgia Test.